So here we are, another day with Boris. Just got back from a job, five days away from him. Nice to be back, but met with a <laughs> whole pile of parcels. Um, this one is a breather for the back axle because the old one was missing when I checked it. Unfortunately, the oil was leaking out from the axle all the way down the wheels down here and then spraying out and up all over the car and uh, going everywhere on both sides but what i found out was that the breather was missing so that the pressure was building up and coming out of the seals at the end of the axle that are actually very old and perished and one was missing so the guy i know thankfully gave me a tip Robert Evolutionary 4x4 to check the breather and it wasn't there so I have got a new one and the hole that was there was actually completely coked up with dirt and crud and unfortunately had been <laughs> blocked up for a very long time which is a bit annoying um, so I looked at that the other day and cleared it out unfortunately there's going to be some dirt in there but I think once I've done this I'll give it a, a flush out what I'm running with at the moment is a very bodged aluminium rod that I stuck in there with some, uh, some double sided tape to seal the hole and then it's wired in and then taped over and it's been doing quite well. It's been sitting for a week and just equalising the pressure hopefully. There's been no leaks at all since then so I'm very happy with that but a little bit dodgy to run my DIY special uh, little breather. So. What I'm going to do today is be quite easy. I'm going to have to tap that hole that was there before. That was quite dirty. So that we can get this new banjo bolt in and then wire this up as high as we can with um, cable ties. So I guess first things first is to remove this. I've already cut this little wire start to remove some of this tape so I'll clear this off and then we'll get going <laughs> this is what I was rolling with seems to have held up quite well had a little bang on the end to fit in to here looks like it's been doing its job quite nicely that's nice oil there nothing spilt out too much let's crack on unfortunately because the clearance of the exhaust I can't get the drill in um, I could remove it, but I should be able to do it like this. It goes in really cleanly actually, but it just has a bit of resistance. If I get a ratcheting spanner on here, I should be able to do it. Let me give it a try. This is a huge bodge. Well done. I've got the bit in the end, no, oh, in the back of a ratcheting bit that then is a star that fits on a T30 bit onto here. And then it builds this little bit that we've got here and hopefully we we'll have to do it with that. Let's go and try it. <laughs> Alright, great. Seems to be doing the job. Not too much resistance at all, which is good. Unfortunately, the dirt from the thread that's being cut out here is going to go into the axle, start to contaminate the oil, which is fresh. So it's unfortunately going to have to be changed soon. That's loosened up so much. That's great. I'm really happy with that. <laughs> this little tool has done the trick. Right, look at that. That's good. That's all the way through now. You can see there, it's not too bad. It's probably just a bit of dirt over the over the time built up in the thread and really good to have that cleared out now. So here's the new Breathe the Banjo bolt. It comes with the clamp down copper washers there, as you can see. That'd be good, nice and fresh on there. Um, and so this will go in here in the new thread, let's just check that works. That'd be good. That'd be good if it didn't fit, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, look at that. Fresh, lovely. Right, so that's looking great. This will then feed up here. <laughs> and this is the old breather here, look at that. That's handy, isn't it? Nice, could have spotted that a while ago. So I'm gonna cut the cable ties off that run up the body and then replace the cable ties with these. Got fresh ones here. That'll wrap round and then Jobs are good and hopefully. So that's it, we're done, which is good. I've um, done this up nice and tight, not too tight. This is thread through the protecting housing, which I hope is for that. Um, also 
daisy chain some cable ties together and attached it in there nicely and uh, secured it up at the top there, out of the way, so no water ever gets into it ever again. Right, that's it then. Um, another thing ticked off the list, one of hundreds of things to do. Looking quite good at the moment. Glad I've done that because I don't know how long that's been like that for. It seems to be quite an easy thing to do. It went really well actually, which is quite good. So more videos hopefully coming soon. I'm on Instagram mainly, really. Boris the Defender on Instagram if you want to see. Um, hopefully a lot of you came from there already and uh, following. And it'd be great to hear what you guys think. And um, I'll have some more videos coming soon about many other things and many adventures. Cheers guys.